Hello everyone. Before we jump into our next story, I want to touch on something very important to me. I want my favorite people, the Nerd Alert audience, to be ahead of cyber attacks and computer hijacking. Start protecting yourself on the web at nordvpn.com slash nerdalert or enter the code nerdalert to save 77%. I talk about this a lot, but it's important, so I'm going to say it again. Your data is a vital commodity that hackers, greedy corporations, and even Russian malware creators are trying to take over every day. The FBI just put out a warning about a sophisticated malware system linked to Russia that may have infected at least half a million home and office routers in over 54 countries. And the New York Times is reporting that malware could be blocking web traffic, collecting any personal information entered on connected devices, and disabling devices entirely. You can stop the data manipulation yourself by restarting your router, going into the admin settings, and connecting NordVPN. There's a lot of reasons why I prefer NordVPN. First, it has an incredibly easy interface that I think anyone could easily use. Even my parents and Luddite sister can do it. Even Jank can do it. Secondly, and this is important, Nord doesn't slow down streaming video. So if you're on Twitch, you're going to have your location data protected from swatters. We just saw in the news a Call of Duty streamer was killed as the result of a swatter making a fake call to police. This doesn't have to happen. Nord is the fastest VPN product you can find. It won't throttle you like a direct Tor connection, and they've quadrupled their amount of servers to keep you safe without interrupting the rest of your life. I use it, I really like it, and now I can help you get it for 77% off just by using the code NERDALERT at nordvpn.com slash Nerd Alert. That's an incredibly low price. You can protect yourself each month for less than the price of bacon flavored dental floss. Except the VPN service is, you know, a lot more useful. Wonder Woman is coming back, but she's no longer the wide eyed, idealistic young goddess from <laughs> World War I. <laughs> she's back in the 80s, specifically. Wonder Woman 1984, that's the official title yeah. that we have from Patty Jenkins, and we're just learning little trickles and little glimpses of what's going on. For instance, we have uh, Gal Gadot, yeah. Gal Gadot? Gal Gadot. I Gal think. Gadot. Yeah, I just made that up. I don't... I've heard it pronounced so many different ways, yes. I just want to hear the official one, but she tweeted this out, what her uniform looks like as Wonder Woman. It looks pretty much the same, but much shinier and so brighter. So shiny and colorful. It's nice. I like that. And she's got 80s hair. She Didn't she have that hair before? She did, but now it's, now it's, now it's decade appropriate. I'm actually curious about 1984, if that specific year in the 80s has any... I think it definitely does. Yeah. I mean, when we're looking at... If you guys have read the book. 1984. Yeah. The book that you were probably required to read in high yes. school. Um, I think we're probably gonna go along those themes. I would think so. And we'll maybe see her tackle them in those ways. But Wonder Woman has definitely reflected the times a lot, or perhaps uh, clashed with the times, her times at least. Yeah, I, the way that she's been written in comic books, I wrote an article about this and I'm really, um, it's a big thing for me. I Because Wonder Woman came out in the 40s and she was very Rosie the Riveter. And bondage. That, and also bondage. <laughs> um, but it really reflected the way that, that women were treated in society. At that point, they were going out and getting jobs. In the 50s, when they came back and women were housewives again. Mm -hmm. um, no no offense if you're a housewife. I, I don't mean to say that. Um, well, if, if it's your choice, If it's your choice, good. then it's cool. But it wasn't really a choice. And so all of the comics were love stories. And when are we getting married? And Because um, before, Steve had been like, when are we getting married? And she'd be like, <laughs> when all evil is vanquished forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, I love that. Um, but then, you know, you get into like the early 70s and she's lost her powers and, you know, she's she's working I, in us. In a I didn't story. like that. So there's a no. point where Diana Prince decides to give away, lose her powers mm -hmm. in order to stay in the world of man. And Trains she decides martial arts. to be Batman? <laughs> yeah, she's kind of Batman. It's, it's And she works in a clothing store. Yeah, and it's interesting because that they were actually about to do um, an episode um, or run about um, stopping the bombing of an abortion clinic. Mm -hmm. But uh, Gloria Steinem put Wonder Woman on the cover of Ms. Magazine in 1972 and asked for her powers to come back, so it did. Then, you know, the 90s when we're talking about the way women are portrayed and the way that they look and clothing, then her her clothing gets changed, her, co her costume gets changed, and people freak out. And So it really I does... Didn't hate her other costume. No, I didn't but 
I like her original costume. I do too. And you may be like, oh, she's dressed all sexy. How dare we respect her? You know, I got their underoos. I think they're cool. I don't I don't agree with that. Mm -mm. I like it. I like her choosing this way and using her powers in that way. Yeah. I liked that scene in the original, or not original, 2017, the yeah. first of these Wonder Woman movies, yeah. uh, where she's just like, I'm not into this <laughs> yeah. puritanical dress. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fight in this. How do you fight? <laughs> yeah, I, no, I, I totally, I love the costume. I but think we it's have, great. I mean, some other interesting costumes from the set. Oh, yeah. We have her in. You know, she's wearing a belt. She's wearing shoulder pads oh. and a blazer. Um, she's with Steve yeah. Trevor, who, I mean, if mm. there wasn't a spoiler alert at the top of this, she should <laughs> not be with Steve Trevor. No. Because <laughs> they were in the past. He's dead. He's dead, and from the early turn of the century. <laughs> yeah. So, but he's there wearing a members only jacket, wearing a fanny pack. Oh. He's adorable, but what is happening? I don't know. I don't know what happens when what, people wear what, fanny packs. It's just what could what do you, what do you think this is? I mean, there's so many ways he could come back. I mean, this could be a shapeshifter of some sort. This could be a clone. This could be this Maybe a dream? Could be a dream. Could be although why you would dream with some someone in a fanny pack? I just Maybe he yeah, I don't I can't see her dreaming that. She would dress no. him like Wonder Woman would not dream about fanny packs. No. Mm -mm. She would pick something familiar to her. Mm -hmm. Not that. Never that. Maybe maybe a different dimension. I don't know. Could There's be. a lot. I mean, we have Kristen Wiig coming in <gasps> yes. as Cheetah, which I'm excited I'm about. So excited. But I do not know what they're gonna do because no idea. Cheetah is a She's a long-standing Wonder Woman villain. Yeah. But let's be real, she looks ridiculous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. I don't know what they're going to do with her. I don't know, but I'm so excited to see, especially if it's set in the 80s, because mm -hmm. there could the hair that could come out of that, I, I don't... I mean, we're seeing definitely a different tone. Yeah. Um, do you think... I mean, what what is your opinion on that? Because we had this very, you know, valiant, hopeful greatness in the first one that, you know, made me cry a lot. Oh, but so much crying. I don't know... I don't know if I'm going to feel that level of, of emotional connection with the '80s. It'll be entertaining. I, I but think I will because I remember them, but it was not. It was not a pretty decade. I can't wait to see what version of Wonder Woman this is going to be. If it's going to be Orwellian, if it's going to be way too '80s, I guess we're going to have to wait and see what it is. But Jenna, thank you so much for joining me this week. Thanks you for are me. doing so many things. You are writing. I, when she came, I said, "Oh, you wrote another book." <laughs> not that sarcastically. <laughs> I wrote part of a book. Part of a book. Yes. Just contributing. And then you're also on Sci-Fi Fangirl. Yes. Where else can we find you? Um, Legion of Leia, and on Twitter and Instagram, you can find me at Jenna Bush, B-U-S-C-H, like the beer, not the president. <laughs> Good distinction, because <laughs> there is another Jenna Bush. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>